Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this one we'll be showing you how to set up static routes to get from one router's loopback interface to the other. So in our last video, and uh, I probably should have warned you, uh, to save should have saved your configuration because you need we're just building on the previous uh, two routers and the loopback, same IP addresses. So if you didn't save it, that's all right. Just it's more practice. Just recreate everything. And we're back to our router zero console. And we can remember that if we tried to ping the other side, which is the loopback of router one, the pings are going to die out. And if you're then the config mode, you have to do do ping dot three dot three dot three. It's trying to ping and it's going to die out because the show IP route, it's not going to get you to three. There is no three network in our show IP route, in our routing table. Yep. We know how to get to the one network. We know how to get to the two network, but three is not there. And we can solve this problem statically by giving a static route. This is a hard-coded route that gets us to a particular destination. So pretty easy to configure it. We do config t ip route. Let's do a question mark to see what's there. Destination prefix. So I want to get to the 3.3.3.0 network. Give it a mask. Do a question mark. OK. So what we're going to put in here is the forwarding router's address. So let's break it down here. If I want to get from here to the loopback, who do I have to go through? Well, I've got to go through 1.1.1.2, which is the next hop over. So I'm going to put in 1.1.1.2, do a question mark, and we could specify a whole bunch of stuff if we wanted to. I think for now, we see a CR. That means I can hit carriage return or enter. And now we have a static route. Of course, like always, we have to verify. So we'll end out of there, show IP route. All right, so on router zero, now we have a 3.0.0.0 slash 24 network. And it shows that we can get there via 1.1.1.2, and S here stands for a static route. All right, so let's see if we can ping it. Ping 3.3.3.3, and we can ping it. All right. Now we have a problem here because we can go from router 0 to router 1's loopback address, but we can't go from router 1 to router 0's loopback address. So we're going to have to set another static route from the other side going to router 0. So here, we're just going to basically reverse it. Go to comp t, ip route. And in this case, we want to get to the 2 network, 2.2.2.0. Put in a subnet mask. And the next ip hop is 1.1.1.1. Hit enter. And out of there, always want to verify, show ip route. And you can see here that we can get to the two network now, or we should be able to get to the two network because it is listed as a static route in our IP routing table. Let's give it a shot, pin 2.2.2.1, and we have a success. All right, so that's a pretty easy video. In, in summary, it's just if we want to get from one router to the other router to the loopback address, another one of the ways to do it is to add a static route. And the command is you go into conf t, ip route, some destination network, a mask, and the forwarding router or forwarding address. So in this case, it would be, let's say, 1.1.1.2 or 3. It's just whatever the next hop is. All right. Thanks for, the, thanks for watching this video. My name is Humphrey Chung. And once again, this video is brought to you by crypt.com. Need hosting services? Just go to crypt.com. That's crypt with a K.